guys, it's Kat Dean. I'm here with something really exciting. I'm here with my Q&A giveaway. I know I closed it a long time, but you guys know that I'm moving or I've moved. I'm actually in the process of moving after I move. Long story, but I'm in transit. I move into my house in like a week. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, it's the very first time I've ever owned a home. I'm such an adult, I'm adulting. Um, so just so you know, um, quite a few people, um, ones that followed the rules. Um, I think there was about 40 people that entered. Um, oh, crap. So what I'm going to do is literally, uh, I don't have a random number generator here, so um, as soon as I go through and answer this, I'll go grab my phone and then we'll do it from my phone and we'll see. I'll randomly generate one of these numbers and I'll show you what I have. I'll show you after the fact like how I did it. So I'm going to go through the questions now. Um, I haven't really thought about these questions. So if it takes me a minute to answer, I'm really, really sorry, but you guys had a lot of like interesting questions. Um, so yeah, so we'll get to it. So the very first question and yes, you have to wait to the end of the video to see who wins. I mean, you could fast forward, but all right, the very first question is from Funko Shenanigans. He said, if you had to burn all of your pops for an ultimate super mega grail, would you do it? Absolutely not. Um, I know, I mean, there, there are some of you that might, but I think I get much more enjoyment out of trying to, you know, uh, find those grails, those special moments, but I mean, every trade that I've had with people, every gift that I've gotten, everything that I've searched for, I don't think I'd give up those memories. Um, and you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've already lost an entire collection because someone, uh, because of theft, right? Um, so I already know what it feels like to have an entire collection and then not to have an entire collection. Um, so no, I really don't want to go through that again because it would just instill me to buy more things and I need to slow my roll on buying stuff. Um, so yeah, good question, Funko Shenanigans. So question number two was from Nerd of the 80s. What is your favorite city that you have visited and why? So this one's really hard because uh, I had a, a previous job where I was a buyer and I got to travel around all around the United States. There's only two states I have not been to, and that's Alaska and Maine. Um, but I think one of my favorite cities was probably Boston, Massachusetts. And the reason for that is there is so much history there. Uh, and I am a history nerd. Like, I love anything. It, like, completely intrigues me that I could be standing somewhere that people were standing hundreds of years ago, um, I ate at a restaurant, the oldest restaurant, one of the oldest restaurants in the United States, um, and it actually used to be a prison, and we were, we were eating where someone famous had been held captive, and to me, I'm like, yes, I'm in prison, but I, I, I mean, in not that kind of way, but yeah, I mean, that's really cool. I'm going to try not to drag all these on, but these questions are like, I want you to know how I feel about them. So yeah, so Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, number three is from Anna Torres. What is the best or weird thing? What is the best or weirdest thing you've ever gotten a subscription box? Um, the best is really difficult because it's subjective. Um, to me, I uh, in my Bobos, my last Bobos, not this last one that you guys uh, have seen, but the one prior to that, it was an amazing box. Uh, the box blew me away, but I got the Cheshire Dorbs chase figure from Bobos and it was my very first chase figure ever and I don't do Funko Pop haul I mean uh, hunts or dwarves hunts because I just I don't know if I'm I'm not too camera savvy out in public I really don't know how to get that far you guys know if, oh, I've only been doing this for three months now so like I'm still kind of learning and getting my YouTube legs to kind of do that kind of stuff, but finding chase figures are near impossible to me. Um, so when I'm not, I got that in the box, and I know that they consciously put that figure in the box because they knew how much I would appreciate it. That's got to be one of the best things. And if you haven't checked out Bobos, 
their big old box of stuff. They're literally, they're a subscription box that caters everything just to you. You fill out a questionnaire. It's kind of a monthly subscription. If you want it to be, it doesn't auto renew. Um, but if you like Star Wars, you put I like Star Wars. If you like Disney, you put I like Disney. If you like horror, you put I like horror. For me, I put please nothing wrestling and nothing against you wrestling, folks. But as you guys know, I don't really know much about wrestling. So I'll never get anything wrestling in that box. And I think that it's really, it's a one of a kind subscription box. And this is not a Bobo's like, I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. It's just an amazing box. All right, number four, Mr. Blobby. I hope it's Blobby and not Bobby, and I actually, anyway, and Mr. Bobby Jackie or Blobby Jackie, I'm sorry. If you could have one pop made, what would it be? This is hands down the easiest question ever. Um, I would love to have a Corpse Bride pop. Um, they don't make enough Corpse Bride memorabilia. It is one of my favorite uh, movies, stories, animations. Ever. It'd have to be on my list of, of top 10 for sure. Um, I talk about this all the time whenever this question comes up. If you've seen previous videos, I always talk about how much I love Coraline, how much I love the Corpse Bride, um, and things like that. So I would really love a Corpse Bride pop. And if anybody, if anybody out there in the YouTube universe can custom make one of those for like not a million dollars, seriously let me know. I'd be interested in that for sure. Um, number five, New York Nerd. If you could collab with any big name YouTuber, who would it be and what would you do? Um, so truth be told, and this is gonna sound like a cop out, but I really would only really wanna collab with someone that I have a good rapport with. Um, and so a lot of you guys already know, um, I've done trade boxes with people and none of them are really, um, you know, really huge new to you, YouTubers. Um, uh, but like I, um, I've done a trade box with the NES Evolution, and he has like 150 subscribers. I've done a trade box with Franklin F. Ed McInnes, and he has about 260 subscribers. Um, I'm doing a trade with Symbiotically Geeky. Um, I did a trade with New York Nerd. Um, I would love to do like I would love to do like some kind of trade with. Uh, anyone really but it collab I don't, I don't really I don't care about the number like it's not that to me I know that's like it sounds like a cop-out but I'll collab with anyone that wants to like if you guys are a part of this community and you want to do something I'm down for that that's what we're here for to meet people make friends and whatnot so I know that sounds like a cop-out sorry New York nerd but yeah. not about the number you'll all right, so number six is Shake Your Geek. Why did you start your channel? Well, I wish I could say that I really had a good answer for that, but I had a Bobo's box, a big old box of stuff, and, um, you know, they had a thing where they really wanted you to, like, share what you got in your boxes and, you know, kind of promote what they were doing, and every single box was different. And I had so many subscription boxes that I'm just like, heck, I'm just going to start putting these up and see what happens. And literally a month later, I kid you not, a month later, um, hi puppy. Uh, I had like over a hundred subscribers and then after two months I had 200 and now I'm like at 350 and it's just crazy. And can you, can you move please? Can you not lick my face? I know you're going to want to. Um, so yeah, so um, that was that. Stop licky face. Um, so number seven, Daryl Strickland's Library of Horrors. Who is your favorite movie villain? Uh, movie villain? Wow. Like animated movie? Because I love Maleficent. I think she's a, a fantastic villain. Um, who, uh, I mean, I like Loki. I think he's the funniest villain. He doesn't really ever do anything himself. He just manipulates other people to do it for him. Um, I love Gul'dan from Warcraft. Um, I don't know. All of mine, I feel like, are, are, are kind of 
I don't know, but if we're talking about horror, and you can call him a villain, um, I guess hands down my all-time favorite would be uh, Freddy Krueger, uh, for sure. Um, I love the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Um, I don't care what anyone says, number three is my favorite, but he is, he is the coolest bad guy or villain that there is in my opinion. I mean, he freaking can kill you in your dreams. What the heck? So yeah, so Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. Um, so number eight is from CeeLo Green. How many pops do you have? Well, CeeLo Green, too many. Too many. No, um, pops I have probably around maybe 65, 70 now. Um, but I really want to get into collecting other things. I feel like I'm getting sucked into this Funko Pop world. And I feel like I need to... I don't know, not be more selective, but, um, you know, I really want to get into some NECA. I don't have any NECA figures or some Mezco figures or um, some more horror figures or some other things. Um, I really do love Funko's Mystery Minis, but I can only have so much space for Funko Pops. I want some other things that I can display. I do have um, uh, two uh, DC statues that when I get moved, I'll kind of pop one out of the box. And I'll show you, I do have a Harley and I have a Joker. So I'll show you those if you guys want to see them eventually. Number nine is from Nike Parker 7. What is your favorite sub box? What is your favorite fandom? So we had two. So my favorite sub boxes are, I mean, I love the band box. I love big old box of stuff. Um, I really love Comic Bento. I liked Fandora, but Fandora's gone. Um, Jason Urban, he has an amazing idea for a, a box, and I can't wait to get his. He's going to send one to me, so you guys will be able to see that. Um, I'm really excited to see that. Um, but yeah, those are probably some of my favorites. Um, fandoms, I mean, I'm not going to get too specific, but I like horror. I like Disney. I like uh, Nintendo because I love Yoshi, um, The Corpse Bride, um, Captain America. Um, yeah, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, um, yeah, so that's probably a lot of them. Nightmare on Elm Street, but you said horror, so Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, Pixie Willows asks, who is your favorite Disney character? Who is your favorite Disney characters and why? Also, what is your favorite co collectible that you own? Um, my favorite Disney characters, I like Jack from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I like Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. I like the villains. I love Chernabog from Fantasia. Um, I love, I like Tinkerbell. I like Belle. Um, I like Jasmine and her tiger Raja. Um, <laughs> um, I like Madame Mim from The Sword of the Stone because she can turn into a friggin' dragon. Um, gosh, there's so many. I like the Cheshire Cat, one of my favorite for sure. Um, I have a lot. Dis Disney's really hard because I appreciate a lot of the characters that are within uh, the Disney um, adaptations of stories. Um, I like Sven from Frozen. Um, I like Rapunzel from Tangled. Oh my gosh, I could keep going on and on. Disney is Disney is easy. I love Stitch. Oh my gosh, I love Stitch. So yeah. Um, and what is the favorite collectible that I own? Um, I have two um, Living Dead dolls from 2009. Um, one is Jason Voorhees. Um, and one is Michael Myers, and those are probably the two, my two, uh, favorite things that I own at the moment. Um, they are the only things that I have left besides my large Jessica Rabbit statue that were not stolen because I had them locked in my closet. So, I guess just because of memory's sake and because I love horror and I, I literally have, my horror collection used to be so massive and now it's like this. It's like a baby collection. Um... So yeah, I would have to say that. Um, Symbiotically Geeky asked, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? 
I mean, are you talking about like uh, the real world or like the world that I live in? Um, so if I could go anywhere in the world, uh, I really would love to visit Australia, but that's not my answer. Um, probably Newfoundland. Uh, because my husband, um, that's where his nationality is, and I've never been there. Uh, he's from Canada, but his family's from Newfoundland. Um, I would love to go to Newfoundland or Ireland or any of the lens. Um, no, so those are probably some of the places I'd like to visit. I've never been. Um, Charlie Brown asks, what is your favorite pop or mini that you've received? Um, so my favorite mini so far... Um, and it's going to be really ridiculous to you guys. Um, is actually one that I just um, recently got. I'm going to actually have him right here. and He's my favorite mini. And that's Gul Dawn from Warcraft. Um, so I know you guys know that I played. But I was never a hard, a hardcore gamer. Um, I, I actually started playing when BC came out because a guy that I was dating at the time was just begging me to play and I was like, I don't play video games, what do you want me to do? Um, so I got into that and then eventually, you know, I just really enjoyed the game and I kept playing and then while I was a traveling buyer, um, you literally, you travel for three weeks at a time and then you have a week or two off and then you travel for three weeks and then you have a week or two off. So during those weeks or two, the week or two off that I had, um, I just played for fun on the weekends of that week or whatever and I actually ended up meeting the guy that I'm married to now and he's my soulmate and I love him so very much. Um, so I have a extreme love for the game on many levels, personal and it got me through a lot of hard times, and uh, that sounds retarded, I know, but you nerds will understand. Um, there are some games, just like YouTube, right? YouTube, you meet friends that you'll have forever. I feel like you can do the same on uh, RPGs. Um, so, Nike Parker 7 asks, what is your... F oh, I already did that. Charlie Brown. Uh, number 13. Um... Mickey Rochester, have you read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No, I own it, but I have not read it. What is your favorite sci-fi book? Um, I don't know if I really have a favorite sci-fi book. Um, I do ha read a lot of fantasy. Um, I did like iRobot, if you have not read that. Um, I thought the movie adaptation was alright. Um, but that was a book that I really enjoyed. Um, Karma Psycho, what is it that led you to make review unboxing videos? And I think that I already answered that um, because of big old bucks of stuff. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like saying their name a million times. Um, but yeah, the, the, all of their boxes are different. And um, I watched so many unboxing videos and I saw the, like, people were getting, gaining friendships within the channel and I just, I mean, within the community and I just wanted to be a part of it. Your Geeky Neighbor says, if you could live in the world, if you could live in a world from a film franchise, what world would it be? Um, wow, that's hard. Um, I guess it depends on what role I would play in that world. I mean, I would love to live any world where magic, live in any world where magic existed. Um, but you're saying a film franchise, so some of the ones that I'm thinking of, they're not actually film franchises. Um, one would be, um, there's a, the Legend of the Seeker series, um, and it did become a TV series. The Legend of the Seeker, Wizard First Rule, it's by Terry Goodkind, Wizard's First Rule. Um, that world, um, it's split between, uh, these magic people were separated by this barrier from non-magic people, and I think that that world is amazing. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of groups of people in there. Um, but if I had to pick a film franchise... I don't know, maybe Harry Potter, don't judge, magic, cool, dragons, amazing. So yeah, maybe Harry Potter. I'd want to train dragons, that'd be awesome. Um, Autumn Grimm, what is your favorite subscription? I already answered that. Um, if the rest of your boxes, if the rest of your boxes for pops came damaged, would you rage quit? Uh, no. I mean, I would, maybe, maybe. I think that this video came up right after I got a whole bunch of damaged pops, but yeah. What books are on your TBR? Holy crap, so many. 
So, just so you guys know, um, I did try YouTube a while back. I tried the BookTube community because I do read a ton. Um, and it just wasn't, I wasn't really enjoying myself. I felt like pressured to read and I felt pressured to have TBR videos and I felt all this pressure and I didn't really want to do that. So, I mean, that lasted, I maybe did like maybe four or five videos, maybe six or seven and it just, it wasn't my thing. Um, so I do read an excessive amount. So my TBR, um, I read, um, uh, I really want to read, um, Bag of Bones by Stephen King. Um, I, any Stephen King book really, I just finished it and it was literally, he's an amazing writer. It was gory and graphic, but so much better than that movie that came out and the movie scared me shitless. Um, so yeah, so Bag of Bones, basically, or Mr. Mercedes, I, I want to read that series as well. Um, if not that, um, maybe Amazonia. Um, if we're talking about, like, YA, I want to read Winter because I read the first three books in the Lunar Chronicles. Um, or the second one to the fifth wave, I think it's called The Infinite Sea. Um, I do want to read all of the Percy Jackson books. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I like, uh, there's some graphic novels that I want to read, but uh, Preacher is one that I want to read, graphic novel-wise. Uh, favorite item in a subscription box, I think I already mentioned that, that was the Cheshire Cat Dorbs. Favorite fandom, I don't really have a favorite fandom, I have so many. Um, I think I mentioned them, I love The Nightmare Before, um, The Nightmare, <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street, um, Nintendo, because I love Yoshi, Corpse Bride, Coraline. Um, so many, so many things, um, Game of Thrones, World of Warcraft, um, Captain America, Superman, those are some of my favorite. Maleficent, it's not really a fandom, so Disney, Disney. Uh, okay, so, next, from Mindy Grimm, what is your absolute favorite Holy Grail and it said random, so I'm not really, I don't really know what you're asking. What is your favorite absolute holy grail random? Um, so I don't really know how to answer that. I'm sorry. Um, if you want to like put a message in this message or in this um, video and, and, and explain, maybe I'll answer. I don't really know. I'm sorry. Um, Donatello Leonardi. Leo Nerdy. Oh, I see what you did there. Um, what is your favorite TV show? Uh, Game of Thrones, Supernatural, Criminal Not C Criminal Minds, iZombie, Dexter, Doctor Who. I used to like the Dresden Files. Oh my gosh. Um, I used to like Heroes. It's not on anymore. That's some of them. Um, shows that you're currently watching. Game of Thrones probably the only show that I'm really watching. I really don't have that much time anymore. Um, so yeah. Um, Grishin, or Gershon Hosserg. I'm sorry if I, like, destroyed that. What is the best thing in a subscription box? Like I mentioned before, it's probably the Chase Cheshire, Cheshire Cat Doors. Um, Elefante Tooney. If you could create your own mystery box and send it out monthly to subscribers, what type of theme would it be would it have wearables, clothing, more Q-fig, more types, or a little both, or a twist? Um, if I could create my own subscription box, I would literally call it like Kitty Litter or Cat Box. I don't know, but it would be completely random. I don't think I would have like a necessary like theme. I think it would be totally random. Like it would be, um, I would love to mix a box and put like Freddy Krueger in with like Finding Nemo. And then I would call the theme Finding Krueger. I know that's silly, right? But then I like to do mashups that don't make any sense or Harry Potter and the, th no, <laughs> I was about to say the thing, but I'm not going to go there. We'll go with thing Harry because the other way around just but you know, I think I would call it, a, I would make mashup boxes that make sense but don't make sense. Uh, Game of Thrones and let's see um, what is completely opposite of that. 
or that would mash up well with Game of Thrones. I don't know, Nintendo. Um, so Game of Yoshi. See what I did there? Yeah, it would be something like that. I'm weird. Um, Smallville, Smallville now. Or Smallville no. I know, the last time you said I said your name wrong. I don't, Smallville now, Smallville no, Smallville no. It looks like Smallville now, so we'll go with that. Who do you think played the best Superman? Henry Cavill. Uh, Henry Cavill, for sure. Um, I know that a lot of people will be like Christopher Reeves because he did play an amazing Superman, but if anyone is going to like fill the shoes of Superman, I feel like Henry Cavill has the physique, he has the facial structure. I wish they would give him some better scripts, but Henry Cavill is probably my favorite. Um, Yvette Roach. If you could be in a horror film, which would it be and which character would you be? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, any of them. Well, I guess I'd have to be like two or three. Uh, and I'd want to be Nancy. And if you don't know who she is, I know that I die. Spoiler. But I survive at least once. I feel like that's kind of a Nightmare on Elm Street th thing. If you survive one movie, you're going to die the next movie. Um, where am I at? Alright. Florida's Bluest Angel. Favorite TV show. That is so hard. Um, don't judge, guys. Um, I really do love the Game of Thrones. I liked the Tudors when the Tudors was out, even though it's a little vulgar. Um, I like uh, iZombie. I think it's hilarious. Uh, numbers was amazing. Psych is really funny. The Big Bang Theory is really funny. Although I say I really like the Big Bang Theory, but I'm not into collecting those kind of collectibles. So when you're talking about what my favorite TV show, it has to be something that I'd want to collect something from. So like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm, I love Buffy. I loved Buffy when it came out. I used to watch it all the time. Tales from the Crypt. I love stuff like that. Um, but probably right now, the one that I'm watching that I like, that I enjoy the most that I'm watching right now is Game of Thrones. Um, Geek Legion of Doom. If you could go back in time and change one decision you made in the past, what would it be? Um, absolutely nothing. Um, I know that sounds stupid, but I love my life right now, and I have a ton of stress in my life. Uh, like everyone does, but um, I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm happy with my job. I'm happy that I'm getting a house. I'm happy with the man that I married. I love my, my pets. I love my family. And I feel like if I changed anything, um, my life right now would change. And I mean, we all go through a lot of shit. There's a lot of things that I wish didn't happen. Um, but I don't know, I wouldn't change anything. Nope. Um, last pharaoh, what is your least favorite food? This one is so ridiculous, e so ridiculously easy for me. It's beets because I think they taste like dirt. Don't hate. I don't care if you guys are like, I could cook them to make them so delicious and blah blah blah. blah. No, beets are the devil. No, thank you. Um, Z Zinun. Limmy or Limey 73. I'm sorry, my handwriting is so sketchy right now. Um, Pop Not Created, you would want I'm in the I'm almost at 30 minutes, guys. So, Pop Not Created, um, I, I don't know where it cut off, but um, Z uh, Zenu Limmy 73 asks, What pop would you want created that is not created yet? And I think I've mentioned it before, and that would be the Corpse Bride. Um, Easy Does It, do you have pets? Um, welcome to my channel, Easy Does It. Um, yes, I have uh, two dogs and a husband. You can count him. Um, you know, I have a, an American uh, bulldog who looks like a pit bull, and her name is Roxy. And I have the little white one that you just saw in this video, and that's Kara. And she is an American Eskimo. And. Yeah, so those are my those are my babies, and I hope to uh, hope to be adopting a little kitty soon. So, um, yeah. Uh, play 
You play? Are you playing video games? You play? Do you play video games? Um, I do. Um, I do like World of Warcraft. Again, um, I think I mentioned that um, often. Uh, I like World of Warcraft. I like Hearthstone. Um, I like Mega Man. I like any of the Mario's. Number three is my favorite. Um, I like Final Fantasy. Uh, I like Resident Evil. Um, I know I'm naming some older games. Um, some current games that I like now. I like Mortal Kombat X. Um, I do like Diablo 3. Um, I'm kind of into the whole... Uh, probably not. I, I don't know. Probably the one I play the most is probably World of Warcraft. But I really don't play games all that often uh, anymore. Um, I would like to start. I would actually like to start uh, playing and maybe adding some of that to this channel. But I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I'll have the time to do that. But... Um, Danny Van Hooser, what is your favorite movie slash show? And I think I've answered those. Um, my favorite movies were definitely one of them will be The Corpse Bride, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, uh, Coraline, um, any, uh, I loved the Hobbit movies, um, uh, the original Omen, um, Dolls, and... I'm going horror here on you, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean to do that. But The Exorcist, uh, Child's Play, the first one, mm, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty, <laughs> Frozen, Tangled, Brave. Um, yeah, Disney, Disney and Horror. Disney and Horror. Um, the NES Evolution. How many pops do I own? I think I already mentioned that. About 65 or 70. Um, Mini Siddle 21. Actually, I think her name is different now. It's like Nerdy Girl 90 or Girls Nerdy 90 or something like that. But her name did change. She's a very, uh, she messes, she comments on all of my videos. Um, Best item in an unboxing video. I did mention this before. Um, I really uh, liked the Disney Chase Dorbs that I got, the Cheshire Dorbs. Um, fangir fangirling with Mel. Top 10 items in sub boxes. Oh my gosh. Oh. Off the top of my head. Um, it's just off the top of my head. Uh, Disney Chase Dorbs. And these are in no order. Disney Chase Dorbs. Um, the uh, Friday the 13th. Signed mask by Ari Lehman that I got definitely for sure. Um, I just got this really awesome Captain America, different type of bobblehead from like Drogon or Dragon or some kind of different. It's a series one. I'm interested to find out what that is. Um, almost every item that I've gotten in my band boxes. Um, you know, you have your sign limited prints. I mean, I guess I could just put that as one. Anything that I've gotten in my band boxes. Um, I got a Chucky bobblehead that I really, really liked. Um, this is so hard to kind of try to remember what came in all of your sub boxes. Um, Pandora's box always did really well. I got a really awesome Game of Thrones um, flag, and I got House Stark. I really want House Targaryen, but I wasn't lucky enough to get that one. But I do like the Stark as well. Um, but I really do wish I had the House Targaryen. Uh, so I think I named a whole bunch. I think I think that's good enough. For, oh, I did get uh, Back to the Future. Um, we got an exclusive Loot Crate pop of uh, Doc and... That's probably one of my favorite things that I have. Um, the Bat Productions. Do your friends ever ask you why you collect those things they have at Demon Eyes? I think they're talking about pop figures. And let me tell you, this is a weird, weird thing, right? Like, I've always liked Dorbs figures. Well, not always. I take that back. As soon as I saw the Disney Dorbs figures, I really started getting into them. It was like one of those things that... Like, you have a hate-love relationship with it because you're like, you just keep looking at it and you're like, man, nah, that's not cute. Nah, nah, that's not cute. But they're so inexpensive and then they just, like, grow on you. 
Like they just grow on you like that really ugly guy that keeps hitting on you but he has a really great personality and finally he's not so ugly anymore. And kind of like, it's kind of like my relationship with dwarves. Um, but for pops, uh, they used to be really simple, right? And yeah, I mean all of them looked really similar. They've come a long way and yes, some people think they have really weird looking eyes. Um, and to be honest, let's be honest, um, they're not some of the most detailed figures. They're never going to be an exact uh, replica of what a person or something looks like, uh, but they're getting better at that. Like the Mega Man ones coming out, it's very fitting for Mega Man to look like that. And some of the Disney ones that they're doing now, like the Dumbo one looks like Dumbo. Uh, but when they very first came out, for sure, they all looked, you know, kind of similar. So, no, no one's ever said that, but I guess you just kind of did. <laughs> Um, so Cody Mac, I'm um, hobbies. What is your hobby and favorite superhero and supervillain? Okay, so my hobbies is definitely, I love to read. Um, I'm a terrible writer, uh, so I'm not really a writer. I just really love to read. Um, I used to love to scrapbook. I don't really do that anymore because that was a part of the stuff that got taken from me and scrapbooking is really expensive. And I started it when I was really young and just it takes, it's a lot, of, it's very time consuming, very expensive, and now everything's just done virtually. You take a, a picture and it goes on Facebook or it goes on Instagram, and having a book of pictures, I guess it just doesn't mean as much anymore. Um, I do like collecting shit. Uh, I like uh, reading graphic novels. I like to shop, obviously, and YouTube, I guess, is a hobby. Um, I used to be into sports, so I used to play a lot of volleyball, I played soccer, and things like that. So my favorite superhero hero and villain, so that depends on if we're going DC or Marvel. I think uh, I've, I've mentioned this before, but if we're going DC, which is the way I would go first, um, and I mentioned it, that I feel like DC's graphic novels, in my opinion, are much better, but Marvel's movies kick DC movies butt. Let's just be honest. like. There, I mean, DC just has a lot of catching up to do in the movie making, but their graphic novels are, they have this dark element to them that I really enjoy, and maybe that's kind of like, I mean, I like horror too, right? So that dark and angsty and tortured, um, you know, heroes, I really like that aspect. Um, my favorite superhero, uh, DC, is uh, Hands Down Superman. Um, my favorite villain would be Harley and the Joker, and mostly the Joker, right? Um, Harley came much later than the Joker, um, but I just, I fell in love with her. Um, I just read her, uh, the New 52, uh, were her, her standalone comics, and you'll love her even more, um, even though, even though most of the people that really are Harley fans, like Franklin F.M. McGinnis, my friend, um, you know, vintage Harley when she very first, uh, showed up like before she was actually Harley Quinn. Um, and if we're talking Marvel, um, Captain America is my favorite Marvel hero, Loki is my favorite villain, and I know that's probably weird, but I love the fact that Loki himself never really is, I mean he's a villain, but he never really does the shit himself. He literally manipulates people, to other people to do his bidding for him and to do his sh their dirty work for him, so Loki for sure. Um, Amanda Ark, if you could date anyone from YouTube, who would you? Who would it be, and why? Um, I have no idea. I don't really have an answer to that question. I'm not like copping out on you. Probably someone that could cook. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't have an answer to that. Um, Jeff Soares, what was my first car? Um, it was actually a Dodge Ram truck. That was my first car truck. And then I wrecked it, like every child does with their first vehicle. Um, Jesse Blur, which universe would you live in? This one? I think it kind of mentioned, like, what your, like, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I'm getting to the end here and my brain is hurting. Joe Menigan, Mangan, Joe, the horror guy. Man, Manganero, Manganero. 
Favorite movie ever. Holy crap. I mean, I don't really have a favorite movie ever. I have favorite movies. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Corpse Bride, Coraline. Um, I probably have a ton more that I just can't think of off the top of my head. And I've just been talking about those three, so they're on the top of my head. But um, Harry Potter, The Half-Blood Prince was really good. Favorite horror character, Freddy Krueger. Gamer Pie 2099. Which Marvel movie has been your favorite? Um, definitely uh, Civil War's up there. That was a, that was a really good movie. Um, and the next question that they had is, are you excited to see the X Men movie? The X Men movie was one of the best X Men movies that they they have come out with, in my opinion. Um, now. You guys can, I mean, everyone has their own opinion, right? But I thoroughly enjoyed every single second of this last one. And for me, the last two have been good, but there was a period of time in there where they were eh to me. Like, I mean, if I didn't see them, I'd be all right. Um, British Geeky Guy, what is my very first pop ever? And I got this question, and you guys are going to laugh at me, but I have no idea. I do not remember. It had to have come in a subscription box. And I think that's why I don't remember. It's not something that I went out and physically purchased myself. It came in a subscription box. And that's how I got started in Pops because I never used to buy them before. And then they came in these subscription boxes. And I'm like, oh, no, look at all these exclusives that are coming out. Well, I already have five. I should get three more or I should get two more. And yeah, so I don't, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't remember. Are you looking forward to next year? I don't know if I didn't finish your question there, but... Yes. Uh, Marvel or DC? Uh, I think I've mentioned that. DC with the graphic novels, Marvel with the movies. Uh, Superman and the Joker and Harley for DC, Captain America and Loki for Marvel. Um, is there a subs box you really wish you would have got? Um, I want them all. Like literally, I, I know that sounds weird, but I always feel like there's always like one or two things in these boxes that I just can't live without. Um, but no, if there's one that I really wish I would have got, um, I probably would have liked to get the first, um, the first Fandora's boxes that came out. Or I really wish that I would have got onto the big old box of stuff bandwagon when they very first started. Um, but other than that, I, I would really like to get into some food boxes. Um, because, 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 because of the wonderful things they put in there. No, um, I don't know, because I do a lot of game and, I say game because I talk about World of Warcraft all the time, uh, movie and things like that related, and I feel like what well, goes with nerdy books, reading, movies, yada, 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 but snacks, so probably that. Um, and that was the last one. So what I'm going to do now is there's going to be a pause here. I'm going to get my phone. Um, and I guess it's 39 um, people. If I have Cutie on here as well, so I'm going to do 40. I think Cutie might have actually asked a question that was already on these other ones. Um, I did have one other person. Um, they didn't ask me a question. The AKA Geeks literally just said... Can I just get a shout out? So there, your, there's your shout out. Um, but unfortunately, you didn't ask the question, therefore I can't put you into the giveaway. Um, so it's going to be one out of forty, and I'll be right back with my phone, and then we'll do a random number generator, and we'll see who wins. BRB. Right, so let me get into my random number generator. Show you. 
So I'm going to put 1 to 40. And if I forgot, you guys, if you, I mean, I might not have read all the questions, but if I forgot to read a question or if I didn't say your name, uh, don't freak out. You're probably on the list. So I did 1 through 40, and I'm going to hit generate, and I'm going to show you. There you go. There's the winner, number 28. So the winner is Danny Van Huza. Number 28. So Danny won. So uh, if you will, um, go ahead and send me, uh, you can email me at Cat D Unboxings, that's K A T T D E E Unboxings at gmail.com or via the Twitter or whatever, however you want to get a hold of me. Go ahead and contact me and give me your shipping and mailing information. And I will, uh, and also give me some of the things that you're into, some of the things that you like, and I'll try to cater it towards you. And I should get that shipped out in the next couple weeks. Um, but yeah, so congratulations, Danny. I'm really happy. Yeah, she comments on like almost practically all of my videos. So, I mean, I would have been happy for anybody to have won. But I mean, it's just nice that I know that um, people that are consistently watching get rewarded. So, there you go. There's my Q and A giveaway. Um, congratulations to the winner. Um, and yeah, I'm Cat D, guys. Thanks so much. Oh. One more thing, for those of you that stayed to the very end of the, to the video, even though that you didn't win, I'm sorry that you didn't win, I'm going to be announcing another giveaway. That video will go up very shortly, and you will want to be interested because it's probably my biggest giveaway yet. So thanks guys, Heidi. Bye!